In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work the differentiation functions built into your Casio Classwiz calculator. Now, this calculator can't do symbolic differentiation, so you can't just put in a function and it'll tell you the derivative, but what it can do is it can evaluate the derivative numerically. So we're going to look at two things that this calculator can do. It can find the derivative at a given point, and it's also super useful for checking your derivative. So if you work out a derivative in an exam, say, and you want to check that it's the right derivative, this calculator can actually check and prove that you've done the derivative correctly. So let's start by looking at how to find the derivative at a point. So say we want to find the derivative of x squared plus 1 and evaluate it at the point x equals 1. The way you do this is to press shift, then you can access d by dx. You would type it in. Don't use alpha and x, that's a waste of time. You've got this nice x here, so you can do x, then go straight to squared plus 1, navigate across, and you can evaluate it at x equals 1. And of course, it gives you the value 2, because clearly the derivative of this is 2x, and then you substitute x equals 1, you get the value of 2. This is quite useful for finding one derivative at a point. So if you're investigating stationary points, for example, that might be quite useful. If you're unsure about your derivative, you can use this calculator to check and prove that you've got the right derivative. So let's say we had a function like y equals x cubed plus 2x plus 4, and we thought that the derivative was 3x squared plus 2. This is, of course, the right derivative, but we can use this calculator to prove that it's right. So you can always check to see if your derivative is, in fact, correct. And the way to do that is we're going to define f of x to be the derivative of that function, and we're going to be putting into the calculator x equals x. So we're going to be evaluating at all the different points of x. And then we're going to set g of x equal to what we think the derivative is. So in this case, 3x squared plus 2. And we can input this into the calculator, and we need to go into table mode. So if we press uh, menu, and then you want to go all the way to option 9 here, which says table. And this will ask for a value of f of x. And we're going to set f of x equal to the derivative. So we're going to go shift, then we're going to start typing out the derivative. So we want, um, this is our function in here, so we're finding the derivative of that function. So we want x cubed plus 2x, and then we want plus 4. And then we're going to evaluate this as x equals x. So we press equals, then it will ask for g of x. g of x is going to be what you think the derivative is. So we're going to go 3x squared plus 2. Then press equals, it'll ask for the range. So do a wide range, some positive, some negative. So let's go from minus 5 up to 5, and a step of 1. It's got a limit on how many it can do. Then you press equals, and it will start calculating that. It takes a while. And then it's got all your x values, and then you've got your value of f of x, the value of g of x, and you notice that these are all the same. If these are not the same, it tells you your derivative's wrong and you need to double check it. If all of these are coming out exactly the same, you've proven that your derivative is in fact correct. So you can use this as a great way to check and see that your derivative is correct. So if this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.